everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is amy if you're new here and today i don't know what to do with myself but i thought i'd vlog and hopefully that will inspire me to do something good fun with my day so my parents are currently away and i'm on my own and i've got till half five to a client it's currently like half ten i've just been chilling had some breakfast watched some youtube played some sims um I've done a wash load already and hang it on the line, hung it out on the line, although it doesn't look the best weather out. Anyway, I don't know what to do today. I was just texting Hannah. Like, there's nothing really on the cinema that I want to see. Like, lots of horror out at the moment. And it's just not what I want to see. And then, I just don't know what to do. I'm also trying to, like, save money and be conscious about not spending too much. Hannah did say about Battles Bridge, which was like, a good idea because... I don't really buy stuff when I go to Battles Bridge. It's like an antique centre near me. Um, I could go charity shopping. But will I just buy stuff I don't need? Maybe. I'm trying to think what I have coming up. Just thinking I've got some birthdays coming up that I need to get presents for. So that could be a good reason to go to the charity shops. Um, but yeah, I think I might end up just going to Basildon. Because they're the easiest charity shops for me to go to. Um, apart from Billericay, but Billericay doesn't have free parking, whereas Basildon does. So I might just go meet you on the Basildon charity shops. I feel like I haven't been there that recently. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just vlog it. I'm wearing this new shirt, which Laura got me from Shaw's Trust. It's a Harley Davidson like bowling shirt. I've just chucked on with a black long skirt. I was on my period, and I feel like I just feel a bit lethargic and just like I've got no get up and go but i didn't really leave the house yesterday and i feel really groggy when i don't leave the house i don't know if anyone gets this like i actually feel ill like i feel a bit sicky i get a headache like if i don't leave the house and i just chill all day i just don't feel well um but yeah that is maybe go to bathroom i feel like that is an easy not too strenuous but equally fun trip out and then i'm also debating do i go to home bargains because apparently at home oh there's home bargains in basildon what am i talking about home bargains are apparently selling the milky way crispy rolls again and if you know you know they're a great snack um so yeah maybe let's go basildon i was kind of want to clean my car my car's car's a bit dirty you know it's like little odd bits and bobs i could do but i just have no motivation you know you know i feel like i need someone to do stuff with like my mum normally comes along on these days with me but here we are Let's go thrift and try not to spend too much. I'm just really conscious I am trying to save as much money as possible at the moment. And also my wardrobes and my shoe closets are bursting at the seams because I don't need any more stuff. But let's go shopping anyway because that seems like all I can do for fun. I have left the house. I'm going to drive us to Bowserdon. I need to look for presents for Laura. Presents for Jade, aka Thrifty Finney. I've got them both already got them stuff but just need to get some more little bits um so i'll have a look out in the charity shop if anything catches my eye for them galleys and then maybe I'll just yeah just have a look have a browse see what i find um and just have a jolly old time in the charity shops i put on some more accessories so i look slightly more put together and i'm wearing my light mcqueen crocs for comfort i have made it to basil if you're going basil in charity shopping park in the Aztec car park you get three hours free i feel like I hope everyone knows that, but if you don't, you're able to tip. Three hours free in the Asda car park. And this is like the better one, it's closer to the charity shop, so that is my advice to you today. Shop is Scope. Oh, they're funky. ASOS. Oh, this chain is. The Michael Kors one. Like, what are you? I don't know. So cute. I don't know what size they are. Uh, Four and a half. Don't you wear lilac? I love lilac, but I don't wear it, you know? See if I need to know again. My nuts are bag. Let's work out this drop out. It's my oasis. 4.25 vintage. I thought it was really cute, but I'm going to leave it because I'm being good. I do love a corset, but I do not need one. Heated rollers. You guys know I'm really loving my heated rollers at the moment. These ones are. £10, but it's the going rate for them. But that's rather hair tools. Don't feel like either of the girls need them, but cute gift idea. Didn't film too much in there because Jay got told off for filming in there and I was a bit scared now. These shoes are nice. Let me show you, I'm seeing British Heart. British Heart shoes, probably really nice actually. 
for everyday sandal. This is very funky, £10. It's like a plant stand or something. Very fun. Very fruity for you guided. And so are these, but really would like to get second hand, not new. Brown cargo dungarees. Oh, these are actually really cute. I just don't think I'd get enough wear out of them. Brown is necessarily the colour I'd look for. Some jogging bottoms for £10. It's really nice. Blazer. Nasty girl, still got tags on. £17. It's J. Norman summer dress, £11. Cute, pretty little thing dress. £8.75. It's not new. It's nice, but again, we'll be leaving this one behind. Very cutesy pair of vintage pajamas. They always have good pajamas in the shop. It's a great little travel set. I like the little props on my phones. They're very cute. They really look good gift sections in this one as so. well. Some Levi's. These are twelve pounds. Really nice swimming costume. I'm looking for the perfect strapless bikini. This is definitely the perfect strapless swimming costume. It's also got a leopard print one here. Are you also cute? Has got straps, so I'm looking for more strapless options. I hate tan lines with a passion. This one is very cute. You can always pick up less in them first two shops because they're the most expensive. More of the other ones at all outlets, so like they're the more obvious choice of where to buy from. Now, in Havens, this is everything three pounds or four for ten. I always get my stuff discount in here. It is the day after we lost the euros. It's just funny that this is front and center in the shop today. It made me laugh. Let's look through this rail of dresses. I feel like this would look really nice for holiday. But again, I'm being good. It's also stunning. Unfortunately, it'll be too big. But that said, I was originally Lipsy. It feels like really good quality. I like the shape of it. This is very thrifty finny coded. But it is it's a size 18. It is stretchy and I feel like it looks small. I don't know what this is, but it's funny and ugly and I kinda love it. I didn't spend any money, I did spend money in that. But now into mind. So this shop, very hit and miss. You just never know. That blouse in the window is cute. Let me show you. Far too small for me, but cherry blouse. It's very sweet. Let's go in. There was a free books outside. Baby dress is so cute. My little LV bean. It's got a little mark on it. Very cute though. I really want to find something with this sort of print, but I want it to be sleeveless. My really a colour of sorcery, nothing like that. But still looking. I'm really not normally a grey person, but this is very fun and is three pounds and will be coming home with me. This little vintage dress is really cute. I like that a lot. What's this? This looks fun. Swirly whirly. I'm seeing this style and colour dress everywhere at the moment um, in like the charity shops. That looks pretty. Well, um, going shopping and not spending money isn't happening. <laughs> but let's go into cancer research now. Have a little look. I'm um, going to pop into Card Factory because I used to have loads of cards like stashed ready to go for like birthdays and stuff. I don't have any, so we'll grab some birthday cards, I think. Let's see, I've got one in there reduced. If we've got any in here, I'll have a look um, and see what we find. This is really cute, two pound by the brand Ping. Not heard of it, but it's very cute. That was some like mum jeans, would it be really nice? Not really my style, but I do like it. Loads of handmade totes in this cancer research for three pounds, but the straps are really short. Whereas I probably would pick them up for presents, but I think the, chain, the arm is just too short. This kind of slightly see-through pure Una top three pounds. I'm really big, so I've got quite a lot of leather print. I like it. it is super cute. I went into Card Factory and I knew they did ten for a pound. I couldn't see that in there. Mum says they do still do ten for a pound, but said the selection was very good. But they had five for a pound in there. And they were really nice cards. Like cards in Asda would be in like the I think it's like three for three pound in Asda's, but. 
yeah, really nice. I picked up five cards. I've got some cards spare for when it's people's birthdays. And I think it's time to go home. I might pop in Houndland and see if they've got any snacks. Then go. Oh, sorry, wholesome. I just come inside the shopping centre to walk through. And they had a stall for St Luke's Hospice, which is our local hospice charity in Basildon. And they were selling up key rings, handmade for a pound. So I picked two key rings up for the girls. So that's nice. Hope they don't watch this video. They won't. They don't watch my videos or anything, but let's hope they don't. Um, so yeah, that's super cute. Um, let's go back now, I think. Um, I'll show you what I got when we get back. Hello, everybody. I thought I'd do the haul down here, at least just to show you guys what I picked up. And I'll do the try on upstairs, obviously, but I thought I'd do my little haul downstairs for a change. So, I'm going to show you what I got. First off, I know you guys have seen this ages ago, but I finally wore my watch. The got from Cat's Research for that, which is quite cute. That's not something I brought today. But the first thing I'll show you is these cards from Card Factory. I know this is really random, but it's just like, really nice to be able to know where to get nice, cheap cards. Um... Because I feel like I want to be an adult that has a stash. Look at George in the back. Maybe he's acting like him. He's cleaning himself. I feel like I want to be an adult that has a stack of cards all ready to go. And these ones, yeah, were five for a pound. This is my personal fave. I just thought that's so cute. Like, vintagey, colourful. Love that. And I've got this one. That, let's be real. It reads, let's hooray party. But I'm sure it's meant to say, let's party hooray. But it kind of made me laugh. This one... Birthday! I thought that was cute. And then as I love dinosaurs, I got this one. Have a awesome day. George is judging me. That's my cat, George. You guys probably have never met George before. That's George. I also have another cat called Max. I don't know where she is. Anyway, so from, I'm going to do this in no particular order, just the order I grab it out of. This card I got for 50p in mind. I just thought that was real cute. I kind of thought of Laura when I saw it. I just thought that was fun. So I picked up that. And the other thing I picked up in mind was this top. So this was £3. And it's actually original, like, Ford licensed products. Like, I've never seen that before. And it is this Mustang, like, tank top. I'm not going to lie, she looks quite small, but she is stretchy. Um, And she does claim she's an XL. I thought it was really cool. What does it say? The legend lives since 1964. I thought my dad's born in 1964. That's quite funny. Um, I just thought I was real cute and I know it's like, quite different because I don't wear grey but I thought with this skirt even it would look quite nice or with my denim skirt I mean I feel like these tops are always practical I don't really have many nice vest tops like all of my tops seem to have some level of sleeve and like the vest tops I do have aren't kind of cute you know they're just basic so I thought this is quite fun it reminds me a bit of Penny's top dress she got from shelter the red one with the, the flames and the graphic on it i think just because the shape um i thought that was quite cute sorry if i'm sniffling my hay fever is really attacking me today i had like literally like an itch in my throat the whole night and it hasn't gone i haven't taken antihistamine so it's my fault but anyway next thing i got was from havens look at this gorgeous mns old school tag oh stop it so i got these the piece in Havens I got four for ten pounds, and I got my staff discount on it just to let you know. So it says three pounds, but it worked out seven pounds sixty divided by four, whatever that is. It worked out that. So the first thing is this lace blouse. You guys know I've been loving lace at the moment. Will I look like a neck curtain? Yes. Am I bothered by that? No, not all. I think that's quite slay. I just thought this with a cute skirt. I could layer it like a vest top underneath it for work because it'd be appropriate when I wear it outside of work. I'd probably just wear a cute white bra underneath. It's got this really nice fluty sleeves i just feel like this is so cute is it giving ron at the yule ball i think maybe am i bothered by that again i'm not i'm not at all i just want it so cute so fun this is size 18 though it might be slightly baggy but i feel like that's fine you know she's cute then the next thing i got do i need this absolutely one hundred thousand billion percent no have i got Loads and loads of evening dresses. Yes, I do. Have I got an occasion to wear any of these evening dresses? No, I don't. Have I then bought another one? Yes, I have. And that is my TED Talk. So this is £3. It's only Boohoo originally. But it's new tags. Like literally all the tags, including the security tag. Um, And this was £3. It is, again, in a size 18. So I'm hoping it does fit. Um, It's one of them ones with the cross backs. I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to show you this. Let's see if I can. So it's, I'm not sure it's going to fit. We've got these little boob bits here. 
another bit that goes over your tummy and then it's a maxi dress i'm not weird oh she stinks of smoke i'm not sure how well i'm going to, be able to show you this but i will try her on and hope she fits and we'll have to hope she can go in the wash but i'm going to say with that chain she's not going to be able to which is a bit of a problem because she smells no i don't think she can oh, can she does that mean she can be washed in a 30 degree wash by the time you guys are seeing this it let's be real i would have googled it and it would have already been washed but she does smell of smoke. Oh, I hate buying things that smell of smoke. I had a coat that I brought when I was with Hannah in, I think it was the Gilliam charity shops. I thought it was like, like an age UK or something, I don't know. And I brought this coat and it was so nice, but it was dry cleaning only. And she stank of smoke. And I had her hanging outside for days and days and days. Oh my gosh, I've just seen it's raining. Ah, I'll get my washing in two seconds. Washing is in, crisis averted. I just saw the rain and was like, ah anyway whereas i was talking about the dress maybe i've got too many dresses and yeah i brought a coat in scope and i just couldn't get the smell out of it basically not scope age uk it really annoyed me i saw a little boots on the end but yes anyway next thing i got this is fun and funky so i have a pink and red striped duvet cover i love it you guys would have seen it in the back of videos um i think i got it from asda but i found this one in um havens and it's this red and pink swirly whirly pattern double duvet three quid obviously i got it for less than that i'm gonna chuck this through the wash i've got that it's really fun i'm even thinking it'd be quite nice to have my striped one and this laid underneath and then like tucked back so you can see this pattern because these colors will match perfectly i'm actually gonna chuck this in the wash now along with my duvet cover because i feel like that's good and then final thing i got was actually just a present for oh no this isn't the final thing second to last um so a present for thrifty finney i got this dress it's originally collusion Coll collusion you guys know the brand um this was three pounds again got it from haven so it worked out less than that um and it's just super fun like floral ruched dress now only thing with this is it is a little bit damaged at the top i don't know if you can even see really it's just been pulled it's obviously where the head hole is not big quite big enough and it's been pulled but this case is a size 18 but she is stretchy but she doesn't look like a size 18 to me um i feel like jade is slightly smaller than me so i feel like this will fit her and i thought this is so her vibe in fact i'm like scared she might have it it's so her vibe um so i picked up that for jade and then the actual final things i got was these key rings <laughs> stack that up so i was walking through the shopping center and there was these two ladies selling and raising money for st luke's hospice i think i told you guys this in the vlog portion um so i picked up a key ring for both laura and for jade i don't know which one i give what yet and they're just these little flowers and then there's a little butterfly charm on this one a little bird and then this one is also a little butterfly and a bird not doing very well of showing you this they had loads of different ones they did have strawberry ones which i obviously debated getting for jade's but had a tennis racket on so it was like a wimbledon theme i don't know if jade plays tennis so i thought you know i'll just get her these i feel like flower is very jade i feel like everyone loves a cute flower and that's all i picked up i'm gonna film some trial and clips now send some videos to hannah i'm not sure if i'm gonna carry on this vlog or if i'll end it after that i don't know I don't know, but we shall see. I don't think I'm going to do anything more exciting today, but apart from wash my new bed in. But yeah. So, as I'm sure you've seen from the trial clips, we had a two out of three success on the clothes. I feel like I will take that. The dress, literally, as I tried it on, the strap broke off the back and it stank of smoke. Didn't quite realise how bad it was. I've tried it on Vindy for two quid. It's brand new. How do you? like pricing it's brand new with tags but it is broken and it does smell i paid it for two quid i feel like that is less than i paid for it um but it's still brand new tags dress and if someone could fix that and wash it then it'd be fine and i've tucked the duvet in the wash and it just stripped my bed and yeah i feel like that's where i'm gonna end this vlog um i yesterday i sorted out my boots and i'm just trying to be really strict on what i keep what i don't i'm gonna go for my dresses in a minute i think um but I just put a pair of cowboy boots on Vinted and they literally sold. By the time I'd gone on, posted on my story, gone back, they'd sold, which is brilliant. So I've just gone and posted them. And yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm just going to do life admin stuff for the rest of the day. I'm going to probably sort out my wardrobe, put some more stuff on Vinted, um, make my bed and then get ready for my client. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment what your favourite item was down below. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!